One man. One objective. A hole in one. On a par three. Can he do it? Only time will tell. To succeed and obtain golf's biggest prize of all. Hey, yes, it's Holy Man Challenge time once again. Hey, 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 hey. hey golfers, Nick here. Welcome back to my channel, Nick Does Golf. Great to have you here. I am doing a Holy Man Challenge to see if I can get a Holy One on any of the holes on the par three course at my home club, the Shropshire. So this time I'm doing the talking back at home because the conditions were so windy, it was almost like there was a hurricane out there, which made it very difficult for me to be heard on the camera, even with a microphone, which I have just purchased and has proved invaluable, but in hurricanes, it's still not very effective. But anyway, I'm gonna provide you with some commentary throughout the 10 shots that I hit for this challenge. I haven't managed to do it yet, I'm three holes down, I have been very, very close to doing it, but I haven't succeeded. So we're moving on to hole four, let's have a look and see what it looks like. So looking at hole four, it is 84 yards off the map which I'll be hitting my shots from. It was very windy, it was very soft because we've had a lot of rain as well. This seems to be a common theme with the holes that I have played. I think it's just purely down to the timing that I actually do the challenge. But it's a straightforward hole, no bunkers to contend with, no hazards, nothing, just the green, which is probably about 10 to 12 yards wide. So let's get stuck in and see how I got on with my shots. So place the camera behind the green so we can see where the balls are gonna end up. Being fairly confident about my swing, if anything, I was getting a little bit stuck behind it, which isn't gonna help, so some shots will go into the right. But let's see how we get on. So, shot number one. Oh, good swing. Up it goes. And yeah, it well, didn't, didn't go very well. Air mailed the green. It was a terrible shot, to be honest. It went way too far, but I'm gonna blame the wind. Here's shot two. Good swing again, solid. And pitch short, short right of the green. So not quite getting the distances just yet. So one long, one short. So coming up to shot three. And I've hit it, where's it gonna land? And there we go, distance was spot on of that one, just to the right of the flag, probably about uh, eight to 10 feet with that one. So getting sort of dialed in now with those wedges. And shot four, here it comes. And it's gone up in the air. And slightly long left, pulled it a fraction. Left myself with about 15, 20 feet, something like that. So not too bad, again with the distance. If you do pull it, you do tend to hit it slightly further. And shot five, up it goes. And not bad. Okay, that's the closest one yet. Three to four feet with that one. Not too shabby. So first five balls done. Distant control was all over the place to begin with, with the first two balls. One air mailed and the second one was short. But as I went on, I started to get a little bit more dialed in if you like. We've got another five balls dialed in, much better. Let's see what I can do, let's go. So five balls done, let's see what I can do with the next five and see if we can get more dialed in with these. There were some foot golfers looming in the background which obviously didn't help because they are very loud. And shot number six is underway, where's this one gonna land? And pin high, perfect distance just slightly left of the target. Wind is again a crosswind as it was last week, uh, which adds to the elements and adds to difficulty. Uh, shot seven. 
just checking that I get that swing on the right path on the way back. And here it comes, up in the air. Where's it gonna land? Looks good. And very similar to shot six. Again, slightly left. Okay, probably one to two yards longer than that one. But more dialed in than the first five. Here come shot eight. And up we go. Ooh, like this one. Looks good. And plugs, and that is very close. So, so close. Probably, I think it's about two feet. Um, would have liked that to have ran out a little bit as well, but that is the closest one yet. Let's see if we can get inside that. So, shot nine. Looks good. Oh, right on line, but just short, and it's ran onto the front of the green. Oh, that looks so good in the air. So disappointed. If I had the mixture between shot eight and shot nine, that would have been perfect. So, final ball to come. And up it goes. What are we going to do? Running after it. Oh! And that is very close again. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't manage to hold it, but much better with the distance control there, which is pivotal for your wedge play. And as you can see, I am devastated that that has finished so close but didn't go in. Yeah, it's two feet, Nick. Two feet. So as you've seen, I have once again failed at this competition. So as you have seen, I have once again failed at this challenge. I can't believe it. I was so close. Two feet. Come on. Gotta get the game face back on. Four holes down. We've got another 14 holes left for me to get this challenge done, dusted, kaput, zilch, gone. Ticked off that list. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this regardless of what it takes. I might even use a driver to see if I can get it in. Because if I get onto the back nine holes, we might have to be taking drastic measures. But the good news is I'm getting closer every single time. Two feet is the record so far I just need to get two feet closer but for this week it is all done hole four completed but challenge failed but next week we're going to be moving on to hole five which is a very similar yardage and I'm not going to give you a preview to it because I want you to tune in next week to see how it looks as it is quite mm, quirky mm, surprising that it is actually like that uh, and it's certainly going to add to the challenge of the actual hole. Which leads me very nicely onto my next point, which is if you have enjoyed that content, please make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't done so already. Also hit the bell for those notifications every time I upload a new video. I would very much like for you to come on board and follow my journey as I go through the golfing world and pass on and share my experiences whilst doing some challenges, giving tips, advice, all those cool things out there which you are certainly going to benefit from. Also give this video a like, ding, and drop a comment down below. I'd love to hear from as many people as possible. Let me know if you think I am going to do this challenge or if I'm not. I really hope you think I am. And as always, please make sure that you follow my social media platforms on my Instagram, my Twitter and my TikTok. It is at Nick Does Golf to keep up to date with everything that I'm doing on a daily and weekly basis. Guys, it's been a pleasure for me to share my content with you. If you've enjoyed that, do all of those things, interact, go and network with as many people as you can out in the golfing world. I promise you, you will not regret it. Thanks very much for watching guys and see you all very soon.